Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having a good week so far. So in today's video, we're gonna carry on with this color along from Rita Berman's book. So we're gonna tackle this little picture today. So I'll go ahead and get started. And the first color that I'm gonna go in with is Peaches and Cream. So I'm gonna use this as a base for our skin on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a light base coat on all of the skin parts. Next, going in with Rose Red, I'm going to go ahead and fill in their little cheeks so that they've got nice bright red cheeks. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and just fill in these little circles that Rita's drawn on here. And I'm going to fill in her little lips as well with this colour so that they're nice and bright red. And I think we'll do his too. Next, going in with Apricot, we're going to add some shadow to the skin. So I'm going to darken up like anywhere where I feel like would be a little bit darker. So like here where we've got the cuff, I'm going to add a little bit of shade there. And I'm just using normal pressure for this one. So again, we'll add some shade here. Do the same for him. And then we'll darken up their necks because that would be a little bit darker. Add some shade up here around the hairline. And then what I'm going to do is lift the pressure to blend this out so that we don't get any harsh lines. Um, we'll do the same for him. We'll give him a little bit of shade from his hat. Just the little tops of his ears. And then again, we'll just lift the pressure off and just blend that down. We'll give him a little bit of a shadow under his moustache. So going back in with peaches and cream, I'm just going to go ahead and work on where we left the darker colour just to blend it out and then leave the lightest pressure at the tips. So just over the blend line. So I'll do the same up here. So I'll just take it over where we left the lighter pressure and just use normal pressure for this. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure as we come down the face. So we'll do the same up here. So go over where we left the lighter pressure and then lift the pressure to bring this color down the face. And we'll add a bit here too. Next going in with cream, I'm gonna go ahead and go over where we left the lightest color. So just at the very bottom of these little hands, just to blend this all together nicely. And it will also just lighten it ever so slightly as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the face as well, just at the bottom section and try not to get the red because it will probably blend in. And then we'll do the same for him. So going back in with Rose Red, I'm going to make a start on her little outfit and I want some of these little details to be red. So I think we'll go ahead and fill in these little straps here with the Rose Red. And then these little straps down the side. And we'll do a little cuff links in red. 
and then I'm going to do the little hem of her dress. We'll fill in the band on her socks as well. Add a little bit of red to that. And then we'll fill in the outer section of this little pattern as well. And we'll do this little neck cuff. Next, going in with parakeet green, I'm going to make a start on filling in these little leaves on her dress. So again, I'm just going to fill these in completely because they're so small. And just use normal pressure for this. And then we'll go ahead and fill in this little detail in the middle and these little um, triangles. Next, going in with indigo blue, we're going to make a start on the dress. So this is quite a dark colour blue. So what I want to do first of all is go in and add any of the darkest colour um, that we need. So like here around her hand, I'm going to use normal pressure and just add in this colour. And then here, I'm just going to lift the pressure so that it fades a little bit. All of this bit will do lighter, so I'll just use light pressure and go ahead and fill this in. Do the same for this side. And then again here under her hand, I'm going to darken that up, so I'm going to use a bit more pressure there. take it down the edge of the dress. We'll add a little bit of dark pressure on this side as well. And then here I'm going to run this along this edge here just using normal pressure so that this bit is a little bit darker so that we've got like a little shadow from the top part of a dress. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure and go ahead and fill in the rest of the dress. I'm just going to use some more pressure up here under this arm and just add a bit of a shadow in there because that would be a little bit darker from her arm. Okay and then this bit in here we're going to fill in completely. Go ahead and do a base coat on both of her sleeves so that we can see where we want to add the darker pressure in. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding some more pressure where it joins to the cuff and up along this edge of her body. And then here we'll just add in some darker crease lines. So we'll do the same for this side, so darken up along where it meets her body and the bottom cuff. And then again, I'm just going to darken up these little crease lines. Then going in with my white pencil, I'm going to go over where I left the lighter pressure and just blend this together. Okay, and then going back in with indigo, I'm going to do the same for her socks so that they match. So I'll do a base coat on them first. Then 
then we'll add some darker pressure down here by the shoe. And some at the top here, underneath this little red piece. And then I'm just going to darken up the right hand side. Going back in with our white, I'm going to go ahead and blend this all together. Okay, and I think we'll do this middle section blue too. So I'm going to go ahead and use indigo and just do a light base coat on this part. And then I think we'll just add a little bit of shadow here where we've got these little creases. And then we'll just do a little bit down the bottom edge. And again, just lift the pressure as you come up. I think we'll add some all along the top line as well, just to darken that up a little bit. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this together. Going back in with peaches and cream, I'm going to go ahead and fill in her little legs here because I obviously missed this part. So I'm just going to use light pressure here and add some colour in. Then we'll go back in with apricot and I'm just going to darken up the very top edge here underneath her skirt. Then going back in with rose red, I'm going to do her little shoes red so that it matches her little outfit. And then we will add this to her little headband as well. So I'm just going to use normal pressure on either edge. And then lighter pressure in the middle. We'll add some darker pressure under here and then I'm just going to lift the pressure for this little bit at the bottom then going back in with my white pencil I'm going to go over where I left the lighter pressure just to blend this together nicely Then going back in with indigo, I'm going to go ahead and darken up the top section of this and this bottom section here. And then I'll just use light pressure for the rest of it. Then going back in with our white, I'm going to go ahead and blend this together. Next, taking Sienna Brown, I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on her hair. So this is going to be our lightest colour. So I'm just going to use light pressure here and add this down into all of her little hair sections. Then taking dark chocolate brown, we're going to add some shade to her hair. So I'm going to start by adding some of this colour here along the headband where that would be casting a bit of a shadow and then I'm just going to lift the pressure as you come down so we'll do the same for this side so just take it along the edge and then just lift the pressure as you come down So for these little side pieces, this bit here I'm going to darken up because it would be behind her ear. And we'll do the same here, add some shadow behind the ear. And then we'll just take this along this edge. And again, you just want to use a little bit more pressure closer to the headband and then lift the pressure as you come away. I'm just going to add a tiny little line right up around this edge at the top, just 
just to darken up the top piece. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to see what this looks like if we blend this together because I don't want it to be too dark, but I also want there to be like a highlight in her hair. So I'm just going to drag this colour backwards and forwards and sort of pull the two colours together. And we'll do the same for the fringe. Then going back in with parakeet green, I'm going to go ahead and fill in her little earrings just so that we've got another little bit of green into the picture. Okay, and that's our little girl done. So now we're going to move on to the little guy. So I'm going to go in with sienna brown so that his hair matches and I'm going to do a base coat on his little bits of hair here. and also on his moustache. Then going back in with dark chocolate brown, I'm going to add some shade to this. So I think for his moustache, we'll just sort of shade the bottom edge, darken that up. And then for his hair, I'm just going to darken up the top section. So like under this flower here, and then right underneath the hat. We might as well fill all of this in dark actually because it's quite small. Then going back in with our white pencil, we're gonna blend this together. Next, going back in with rose red, I'm gonna make a start on his little outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these little bits here in red because I think this would look nice red and then we'll use this on these little bases here as well so i'm just going to do normal pressure on the outside edge and then on the middle i'll just use light pressure do the same for this one Going back in with our white pencil, I'm just going to go over the lighter patch that we left in the middle. Okay, and I want his little jacket to be blue to match hers. So I'm going to go in with indigo and do a light base coat on his little jacket. So now I'm going to add some more pressure at the top here to cast a shadow from his little collar. And then I'm just going to bring these lines further down. We'll do the same here. So just bring these lines a little bit further up and darken up the bottom section of his sleeve. And then in here, we'll add some darker to the top and the bottom. And then I think we'll just darken up in here completely because this would be a little bit darker. Then going back in with our white pencil, we're going to go ahead and blend in the sleeves. And I'm going to go back in with indigo and I'm just going to add a little bit more colour here because that looks a little bit too light. So I'm just using light pressure here, just adding a little bit more colour in. And I'm just going to go over the shadow again just to make it stand out a little bit better. Going back in with rose red, I'm going to fill in his little cuffs as well so that they match her outfit. Next, taking parakeet green, we're going to add some green into this. 
So I'm going to do these little triangles here green so that they match her triangles that we did. And I've just noticed I forgot to blend this, so I'll just use the white pencil and blend that bit together. <laughs> okay, so going back in with indigo, I'm going to make a start on his trousers. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on these. And then I'm going to start to add some shade. So I'm going to darken up here in between the scarf because this would cast a shadow onto the trousers. And then we'll add a little bit of shadow just to this right hand side and just lift the pressure as you go along. We'll darken up down this right hand side of his leg as well. And then again, just lift the pressure to blend that out. We'll go ahead and fill in his little pocket darker and along his waistband and down this edge of the scarf. Then I'm just going to go over the little lines from the stitching just to darken that up a little bit. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and blend this together. Okay, so going back in with rose red, I'm going to make a start on his little scarf here because I feel like this should be red as well just to match um, everything else with the outfits. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a light base coat on this. These little tassels down here, I'm going to fill in completely because these would be a little bit darker. And then this back piece here, I'm going to fill in because it's behind, so that would be darker. Going to add some shade around his hand and just fill in that bottom section. Go ahead and darken up these little crease lines. And then for this middle section, I'm going to darken up the edges. And just leave a lighter patch in the middle. Going back in with our white pencil, we're going to go ahead and blend this together. And I think I'm going to give him red shoes as well so that he matches her shoes. So we'll go ahead and add some red into these. So I'm just using normal pressure here and along the top where it joins the trousers. So do the same over here. I think I'll fill in that whole shoe section actually. I'm just going to fill them all in. Let's fill them all in. Going back in with parakeet green, I'm going to do a base coat on his little hat because I thought we'll do this green because he's got quite a lot of blue and red on him already. So this will be a nice little contrast. And then I'll darken up this section here. And a little bit by the flower. And then in here would all be darker, so we'll fill that in. And we'll just add a little bit of a shadow to this corner edge. Then going back in with our white pencil, go ahead and blend that out. Next, taking sunflower yellow, I'm going to make a start on this little flower up here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in 
the center of the flower. Then going back in with our rose red, I'm gonna go ahead and start to darken up the bottom sections of each little petal. So I'm just gonna do normal pressure here and just sort of do little lines, taking it about halfway up each petal. Then going back in with our white pencil, I'm just gonna go ahead and push the color up towards the edge of each petal. Next, taking lemon yellow, I'm gonna make a start on the background. So I thought if we do it yellow, it might just not clash with any of the other colors that we've used, because I thought about doing it pink, but I was like, no, you can't have pink and red together. So I thought we'll go with yellow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this color all over the background. And I'm just using light pressure for this as well, guys, just in case any of you were wondering. Then taking sunflower yellow, I'm going to start to darken up some areas. So here I'm going to darken up in the corners. So I'm just using normal pressure and then I'm just going to lift the pressure off as you come up. So we'll do the same for all of these. And then I'm just going to run this colour all the way around the edge and again just lift the pressure as you come further into the picture just to darken up the whole border. And then I'm going to go back in with lemon yellow and I'm just going to use light pressure again, but just go over the blend. So where it meets the lemon yellow, just so that it doesn't look quite as harsh. And then I'm just going to leave the lighter color in the center. So now going in with our Posca pen, we're going to add some little highlights to this. Okay, so I'm going to add a little tiny highlight here in her arm where we left the lightest pressure. We'll just add a little one there and here. We'll add one to her socks and then in the middle of her headband where we left our highlight. And we'll do one on here and on there. We'll add a little highlight to her shoes as well. We'll do the same for him. On that side. Add a little highlight on his trousers. And just along this edge. Do a little highlight on his hat. And then we'll do little highlights here where we left the lighter pressure. Okay, you guys, and that's how this little picture came out. So I hope you like the final result. I just zoomed you out a bit so that you can see how the picture is looking so far. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.